Panera Bread's charged lemonade is facing more controversy as it is now being blamed for a second death, according to a lawsuit filed on Monday. The lawsuit claims that Dennis Brown, a resident of Fleming Island, Florida, consumed three charged lemonades from a local Panera on October 9 and suffered a fatal cardiac arrest on his way home. The legal complaint reveals that Brown, who was 46 years old, had an unspecified chromosomal deficiency disorder, a developmental delay, and a mild intellectual disability. Despite living independently, he would often stop at Panera after his shifts at a supermarket. The complaint also states that due to his high blood pressure, Brown did not consume energy drinks. This lawsuit comes less than two months after Panera was hit with another lawsuit regarding the death of Sarah Katz, an Ivy League student with a heart condition who died in September 2022 after consuming a charged lemonade. The previous lawsuit argued that the beverage was a dangerous energy drink and claimed that Panera failed to adequately warn consumers about its ingredients, including the stimulant guarana extract. Panera has marketed its charged lemonade as plant-based and clean with as much caffeine as our dark roast coffee. The legal complaints reveal that a large, 30-fluid ounce charged lemonade contains 390 milligrams of caffeine, making it higher in caffeine content than any size of Panera's dark roast coffee. In fact, the large cup contains more caffeine than standard cans of Red Bull and Monster Energy drinks combined, along with the equivalent of nearly 30 teaspoons of sugar. According to the Food and Drug Administration, healthy adults can safely consume up to 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. The wrongful death lawsuit filed on Monday states that Brown had consumed charged lemonades in the days leading up to his death. It is unclear whether he was aware of the drink's caffeine and stimulant content, as the lawsuit claims that the drink was available in self-serve dispensers and was displayed alongside non-caffeinated and less caffeinated options. Brown's cause of death was determined to be cardiac arrest due to hypertensive disease, according to a death certificate provided by Elizabeth Crawford, a partner at the law firm representing both Brown's family and Katz's family. Panera expressed sympathy for Brown's family and maintained the safety of its products. The company stated that, based on its investigation, it believes that Brown's passing was not caused by one of its products. Panera views this lawsuit, filed by the same law firm as the previous claim, as equally without merit. Following the first lawsuit, Panera implemented more detailed disclosures in all of its restaurants and on its website, warning customers to consume the charged lemonade in moderation and advising against its consumption for children, individuals sensitive to caffeine, and pregnant or nursing women. Elizabeth Crawford, the attorney representing both Brown's family and Katz's family, described Brown as a vital member of his family who always brought smiles to everyone's faces. She stated that the lawsuit was filed to raise awareness about the dangers of the drink and to prevent similar incidents from happening to others. This is a vulnerable population that I think the community at large should help protect. And I feel like Panera failed to do that for Dennis, Crawford said in a phone interview. Dennis' family, just like the Katz family, hopes that this message gets out to prevent this from happening to another Dennis.